Here we go, officially the top two teams in world football. We can say that now, but only one will wear the crown. It's the World Cup final coming up live on EA TV. Hello, here we are at Stadium Australia, part of the Olympic Sports Complex here in the great city of Sydney. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And it's decision day here at the 2023 World Cup. The final stands before us. It's Japan versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And here's the starting 11 for Japan. Well, it's a very defensive system which doesn't allow them to press the ball high up the field. So they need to stay compact, win back possession and then counter-attack from there. It's not going to be easy, though. Here's the side France will go with. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And so the battle commences. June Endo. Really good challenge. Rico Ueki. Now high quality defending. Moeka Minami, Sugita, and a tidy tackle. Promising move this from France. Rico Ueki. Oh, that's a really good run. Opportunity. And that would have been quite the early boost for them. Well, it may be early in the game, Derek, but that chance has to be taken. It's a poor finish. Toletti. Marie-Antoinette Catoto. Sandy Toletti. And now, passing it through. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Oh, fancy footwork. It's got to be. That will do very nicely indeed. The first goal in the final. You've got to drink in these moments. Well, just watch this again. 
a change of pace, a change of direction and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Saki Kumagai. Really a very poor ball. Ev Perise. Fukan Nagano and fed forwards and a touch of finesse and a really fine piece of goalkeeping well I'm not sure that was the right decision easy save in the end a sloppy pass Sandy Toletti and close but offside nonetheless Nagano Rico Ueki and very deftly cut out and that is going to be a free kick this looks promising it looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. Kina Sugita, Tune Endo, possession one. Excellent defending. Oh, this is looking promising. Surely! And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. So to dispossess your opponent. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. So into the second half. Can France bounce back after that first 45? Weki on to Nagano. Oh, a golden opportunity for her. Well, quite simply, that is a wasted chance. Losing possession here. Yui Hasagawa. Weki. An unforced error, you've got to say. Well, credit for that piece of ball winning. Now, what can she do next? Kadijatu Jani. 
preferring to go infield but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending well we have 30 minutes to go well no surprise there France have enjoyed most of the possession but most of their passing has been in deeper areas unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality they'll struggle to turn this one around and space here on the flank that's a nice looking ball and a goal I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now name on the trophy maybe Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Catoto. Grasgeoro. Good tackle. Oh, that's a pass of high quality a foul it most certainly was free kick given well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change well she's escaped the caution some might say it could have been a yellow card an important interception showing excellent judgment to intercept opportunity it is well a one versus one situation but sadly no end product well when you're in those situations you've got to make the right decision and I'm not sure it was the right decision she could have bent it round the keeper there And they will make the change now. This could be dangerous. Catoto. Ten minutes to go. Great pressure to win the ball back. Clara Matteo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Dali. Well, very effective play in possession. And a long way out here. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, here it is again. And just look at this. It's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. kick off again 2-1 the current state of affairs well, totaling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes well, getting it forward but they need an equaliser and there it is the final whistle 12 years since the last time Japan are world champions well just look at the joy on these players faces They've been absolutely brilliant. Yes, they're exhausted. It's been a tough tournament, but they are deserved champions.
They won it in 2011 in Germany. They were runners-up to the United States in 2015 in Canada. Now in 2023, Japan are the victors again. And now the big moment for all these Japanese players. And this is the moment they've been dreaming of right from the beginning of the tournament. They've been excellent. Japan are world champions. And nobody is going to say they don't deserve this triumph. They've been magnificent. Well, they have been magnificent. So have the fans. They've had a really good team spirit. They've been the best team in the tournament. No doubt about that. Great scenes here.